from Masai Mara. Oh my god, what a journey. We spent, how long did we spend just? Nine hours? Right. Yeah, a nine hour drive from Nairobi. It's supposed to take six hours. We left at 6.30 in the morning. In fact, our driver was early. And it's supposed to be a six hour drive with two stops. I think our second stop, we did spend a little bit like longer there because we actually had coffee and they took a while to like bring it out and stuff like that. But they're more than happy to obviously like wait for you. And <laughs> it took us nine hours. There were like these really funny road works that obviously like the roads here are super bumpy. They're not proper roads by any stretch of the imagination, but like they were obviously like tarmacking the road, which is like a first for around here. And so you have to like drive through all these like, ditches and things. And we have a land cruiser because we have put like a whole tour thing. So it's great because obviously like I can't imagine like a regular car driving on one of those. <laughs> anyway, we are super tired. We literally like got to our, well, we got to Masai Mara in eight hours or seven and a half, but it takes like an hour and a half to get to our lodge from here. So you kind of get like a little mini safari on the way, which is great because we saw two of the big five. Like how incredible is that? We saw, what's it called? A tower of giraffes. That's what a group of giraffes is called. A herd of elephants and a little baby one that was so cute. We saw tons of zebras, tons of antelopes. A male antelope's called an eland. Hmm. Is that what we said? Uh, loads of like pumbas, what they're called, wogwarts. Hmm. Wogwarts? Hogwarts, no. Not hogwarts. <laughs> Warthogs. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's Harry Potter. We saw tons of like, what are they called? Warthogs. Pumbers. We saw two lions! Like, it's so great having a tour guide because my parents came to Kenya like a couple of years ago and they didn't book a tour, they just went with like family. They just kind of had their own car. And I was like, I'm definitely not doing that. Like when you have a tour guide, they have like their own little radio. So they all can talk to one another. So if they spot like a lion, they'll tell the other one to like go there. And they know what they're looking for. And they know the names of all the animals as well. Cause I feel like not everyone does, like I certainly don't. And so someone had told him there's like two lions. So he like got his binoculars out. And like we were looking through there, there was like two lions like way in the distance, sleeping by a tree. And then one just crossed the road as we were driving. It was just absolutely incredible. We saw so many animals on the way. This is gonna be very, very shaky footage and I totally apologize for that, but there's like nothing I can do. Like the roads are super bumpy and every single blog post that I read before I got here had a whole packing list. And the one key thing that came up in every one is if you have big boobs, wear a sports bra because you might just knock yourself out. And I'm so grateful that I did. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, we've arrived at our lodge and can I call this glamping? Yes. I can, can't I? I can take that off the bucket list. Yeah, it's like glamping. Not yeah, sure. like we're staying in a tent. And I was asking the guy, because I was like, obviously we're staying on the Masai Mara, like National Reserve. And I was like, how do all the campsites like prevent the animals from coming in? And he was like, most of like the three and four star ones don't. So like, I guess you could just open your like front door, like unzip your door, sorry. And you just see like, a lion staring in you in the face. Ours is a five star resort. Of course, this is me, such a travel princess. And they have like an electric fence around like the whole property so that like obviously the animals can't come up to you because how like how scary would that be <laughs> we are actually on the Masai River so like any noises you can hear behind me and not like either of our stomachs rumbling. <laughs> We make the same terrible jokes. Yeah, well, it's not my stomach, it's a, it's a hippopotamus. He bought a safari hat. Oh, yeah. And he looks, he's like dressed the part as well. <laughs> Here's me in like my, like this skirt, like I totally look out of place here. Everyone's all like trampy, like, because that's what you're supposed to be. I'm going to get changed, don't worry. So, yeah, we literally arrived. We had 15 minutes till lunch was over because this is like, it's kind of all inclusive. It's full board, I think is what it's called. So like all your meals are included, but not your drinks. And so lunch was about to finish in 15 minutes. So we quickly had lunch. Then we checked into our room, got rained upon a second time. <laughs> Hence why I look like this. And then we had about 40 minutes to like charge up our camera batteries and stuff like that because they turn the power off every few hours here to save electricity. So yeah, we're going on our first proper game drive and it's not raining. Oh, yeah, so out. excited for this. This is our little balcony for our tent and you can really hear the hippos. You can't see them though, which is probably oh, a good thing. Noisy. Also, this is amazing. Like, Look at how peaceful it is because those are our neighbours, but we're like covered by trees. So like you can't actually look onto anybody else's balcony. <laughs> Shh. 
Behind you that, hear them? They're behind the bushes over they're there. They're behind there. If we, if we were to work, walk down, but obviously now it's been raining, oh, no. we could actually see them. Oh my god! I look awful, but I plan to look awful for the whole two nights that we're here for because what the hell, like, no one cares about how I look. It's all about the safari. One thing I'm really annoyed at myself about is though, I'm so excited to be here. Like this is like a trip of a lifetime. I was just saying to Jas that I think we've, I've ticked off four things off my bucket list. Yeah, I've ticked off four things off my bucket list just by being here. They're like one of the things was come to Africa. I know Africa is a continent and all the countries within it are separate countries. But you know, I've come to a new continent, so I have been to Africa. I've just been to Kenya in Africa. I also really wanted to go on holiday with my grandparents as an adult, and my grandparents flew out to Kenya like a week before us, because we have family here. That's who we were staying with for a couple of nights in Nairobi before we got here. The third thing was, I really wanted to have breakfast with the giraffes at Giraffe Manor, and that's like the famous hotel. It became famous because of some like famous travel bloggers <laughs> a long time ago and it is eye-wateringly expensive to stay there it's like 650 us dollars per person per night it's a 12 room boutique hotel and we were like umming and ahhing about it like is it worth it and every blog post i read was like yes it's definitely worth the money like you should stay there that was years ago when the price was a lot less by the time i was like do you know what we've got free accommodation in nairobi for a few nights should we just do it we realized it was fully booked and do you know what that was actually a really good thing because we went to giraffe center which you've seen in my previous vlog and because we got there so early there's nobody else in our photos we got to feed the giraffes i kissed a giraffe and i feel like that's just a whole a amazing do you mind oh, she was such a gentleman <laughs> it actually licked half my makeup off anyway um it was just like such i think i just think that whole experience was better than like forking out a ton of money just to have breakfast with with the giraffes can't even speak and the fourth thing is glamping oh my god is it just the electricity is going off yeah i think it's a warning four o'clock that was me to leave um they turn the electricity off between four and six because most people are out on their safari at this point so hopefully all our stuff is charged but now i actually am gonna go um and go on safari Yee! The Impala is also an antelope. Antelope is a family basically. Oh, okay. So the Impala, you can see the way the horns are shaped. You can see the color of the coat. It's a dark, beautiful brown. Oh, I see. It has three stripes on the back there. It has a white baby. If you look at the topi, the topi is the has the most unique body patterns of all the antelopes. It has the black mm. patches on the front leg and the hind legs. It mm -hmm. has a, a black patch on the face and it has a long face. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the coat, the coat is looking darkish, shiny brown. Yeah. Which, when the sun is shining very well on it again, it normally looks bluish. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, wow. And then for the impala, the males are the ones which have the, the horns. The females don't have any horns. I'll show you some females when you get to. This is quite amazing. Wow, that's amazing. I don't think we get this close. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> it's like a big, it's a lazy lion. Don't be asked to do anything, Eddie. I think. It's been like a dean hours. Really? Oh wow! Yes. Wow. One. It looks like a fox. Yeah. Yeah. And that is fully grown. Yeah, they fight with lions, Yeah, like in the lion king. It's a hyenas. The one behind. The one behind. Wow. Here was 
was saying earlier, he doesn't think we'll see a leopard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This leopard is hunting his impala over the distance and he's been watching them for ages. our first proper day here and we're off for our second safari yesterday was epic we saw four lions two through the binoculars and we saw a leopard hunting we waited for ages and we saw it kill um an impala which wasn't very nice and it was so tiny and it was just a oh, horrible but i mean you know it was like quite an incredible thing to like actually be able to witness because that doesn't happen very often. Even the driver was like, let me take photos. And he was like, in my way. <laughs> Cause he was like, this doesn't happen to me for like months on end. And he does safaris like once or twice a week for like the past 21 years. <laughs> anyway, it's like 5 a.m. I can't talk, I need a coffee. I'm gonna go and I'll take you on safari with me. Like now. <laughs> wow. Look at
that game drive was incredible but we still haven't seen the rhino and that's the last of like the big five that we need to see we did get up close to a buffalo this time though because yesterday we saw them from a distance the guy said there's only 17 rhinos left in the whole of the mara because of because of like poachers and things which is like how big is the mara so like the rhino is the hardest one to spot anyway we've got like 10 minutes till breakfast ends so we're gonna have a quick bite to eat it feels like lunchtime. like we've been up for hours and we've got our table with a view that we had last night but obviously it was dark last night that's the mara river um and our like room it, our tent whatever is like sort of further down the river and that's the that's the hippos that we can hear um, from our room and you can hear them here as well so funny just spotted a lizard trapped between the two layers of this tent so jas has gone out of this one to rescue it and hopefully bring us some more light as well oh is that a lizard a gecko or whatever it is God, this is so funny. So I've locked Jas out by zipping this back up. The stupid lizard that was all the way up there, like as soon as he lifted this thing up, he's trying to roll it up now, it like ran across here. So it was still kind of inside. And now he's run across to this one. It's like he doesn't want to leave, but I don't want him in my room. Like what if when Jas comes back, we unzip this. No, where's it gone? Oh. We unzip this to let Jas back in. What if he comes in too? Oh. Me. No, the lizard! Look, can't you lock me out? <laughs> don't, don't, don't come back in! What do you, what do you mean? You let the lizard in? Okay, can you try and unzip this side so that the lizard goes? This isn't even. Oh my god, it's horrible! He's crawling! He's crawling! I'm not sure, but you're not coming back in until you got rid of him. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even know where he is. Okay, just, you, just, you just keep going. He's up there, see? I can't see. Oh my god. Where's it He's still at the top. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh no, he's in the room! Fuck! Just come, come in, come in! He's in the room, come in! Just, 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 oh, unzip this! I can't zip that. Oh my god. He's not in the room. How did this happen? What is that noise? What's that hippopotamus? Oh my god. I do not do glamping or camping. I don't. I just, oh, just, I just can't. I've just found a gecko or a lizard in my room and completely freaked out and had to call the man who's now going to fill up a hole. <laughs> I'm having an Indian lunch. Oh yeah. Jesse's having. Oh, what did you do? Oh, I've got a few roast chicken. Well, not roast chicken. Grilled chicken. Mm. Roast potatoes, chickpeas, and cabbage. It's actually really good. These are like really hot. Yes. I'm all dressed in my little pack of mac because it has been chucking it down. We had a really nice lunch. We had a two hour nap, which was just absolutely glorious because we've been waking up at like 4.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. at the latest, like every single day since we've been here. This was much needed. So we felt so refreshed after it. We're now going for our final game drive. No, not our final one, our third one. Yep. But again, it's just started chucking it down and it's so annoying because I really wanna see a proper African sunset. Like, they're meant to be incredible and, um, there was no sunset yesterday, there was no sun, so I think it's gonna be the same today, which is a shame. I really hope we see a rhino. I'm so annoyed that there's only 17 left. Obviously, like, it's not their fault, it's because of the stupid poachers. Uh, there's only 17 left in the whole of the Mara, which is why it's the hardest animal to spot. Even our, um, what's it called, the waiter at dinner last night was like, oh, how was it? And I said, we've seen four out of the big five. He goes, let me guess, you haven't seen the rhino. I was like, how do you know? And he was like, that's the one that's the hardest to spot. So I really hope we see it. Um I see some interesting things. Mm. Our whole land cruiser was covered in mud inside on the out. way back. Like, inside and out. The like footrest that when you jump out was like the mud was mm. this thick, it was slippy and slidey. We were like slippy and slidey in the car as he was driving through these potholes. You don't know how deep they are. Yeah. And it was just oh like awful. But anyway, let's go because we're gonna be late and hopefully it doesn't rain on us, so wish us luck. And I'll take you along with me for the um have you got the key? Yep. Okay, let's go.
there's like a few sitting in this tree, can you see? Oh yeah. There's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. We're checking out of our room. Like, I mean, it's not the nicest because obviously there's loads of creepy crawlies, but this bed was just so comfy. I cannot explain it. Maybe because, like, the other bed we've slept on in Nairobi is like a rock and it's really uncomfortable. I guess it's good for your back, but this bed was just, oh, I slept so well. Anyway, we are running late. We're going to check out, have breakfast, and then go for our last game drive on route back to Nairobi. It's going to be. It's going to be an eight hour journey in the car once we leave here. It's a two hour game drive, six hour drive, and then there'll be like an, maybe an hour pit stop, so nine hours. I'm going to end this vlog here because there's not really much else that I want to say, but I'd keep it short and sweet. But I will film a few clips on our last game drive, so just keep an eye out for any animals that we may see. And I really, really, really hope we spot a rhino, but it looks like it's going to start raining again, and that could just ruin everything anyway i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye